So this is Sean. He has a slight bus problem. There was a bus auction yesterday. He needed to buy one bus. He bought three buses. One of those buses is for Mally right there. It's her first bus. Are you excited? Yeah. What are you gonna do to your first bus? I don't know. Paint it. <laughs> Clean it. <laughs> what color are you gonna paint it? You already started laying out the interior design. Sweet. Do you want me to say, oh, it's gonna be an open floor interior. Um, there's only gonna be one wall. We can't decide if it's gonna be a full wall or a half wall, but it's gonna be the bathroom, which is in the back. That's about it. That's all I have right now. All right, are you ready to work on your bus today? Sure. You think it's gonna make it home? No. <laughs> Other one. Try going the other way. No. There you go. Something should be going down. Or they're disconnected, or there's a kill switch for them. This is two, four. Yeah, you're right, right? There you are. That's okay. perfect space. Right okay. There. And you got a couch. Yeah. That's like the exact Tub. size I was thinking about. Great. Okay. So the eight windows, what you want? Yeah. How many windows is that one? So where's the, the toilet's going to be in the back? Yeah. The toilet's well, going to be right here. And then my bed is going to go sideways. And there's going to be a side hallway. Goes around. It. Little more That's right. That's right. And then next to the bed is going to be a bathtub. Then we're going to move into the kitchen. Then over here, we're going to have extra kitchen space directly parallel with it and a couch. So no alarming looking things. All the engine parts look like they're there. Turbo engine oil level is full. Oil looks good. Transmission fluid is nice and pretty red. It's supposed to run, but we don't have batteries. So this bus, they filled the blinker fluid. <laughs> That's awesome. Does it give you a reading on what they were? Mm. No, it doesn't. Give her a shot and see what you got. <coughs> oh, we got a full tank of gas. <laughs> Does it fit me? <laughs> Do I look good? <laughs> you look real good. Right behind you. Sixty, I'm going no. 65 miles per hour right now. Oh. There's Might be a little bit off. I have a cassette tape that has like an aux cord. I can use it. <laughs> Try it. Okay. Why is it the bus going smoking? Okay. I don't know which buses run or anything, so if they, it starts, they, it's a miracle. Yeah. It's one of those lucky ones. You want to give her a try again or no? Yeah, go ahead and try go it. Go ahead and try it. No, not enough. Not enough juice. Not enough
She's replacing, there was missing a, a bolt on the U-joint there. She's doing a fabulous job. Am I? I feel like I'm taking a really long time. No, but the other end of the wrench is better for that. Oh. Because it's a 12 point. There you go. That <laughs> so. makes sense. <laughs> Other than that, the only other issue that we've noticed so far is it was missing a plug in the bottom of an air tank. And we have plugged that up, a quarter inch pipe plug. That's as tight as it's going. Oh, uh, go a little bit tighter. Tighter? I just yeah. Use the other end. I did use the other end. That's okay. Break it. Really tight. Yeah, that's not. You understand that all the energy from your engine is going through that point right there. Oh, okay. Try the one next to it. This one? Yep. Will it turn? Um, if I get this gunk off. Oh, what is all this stuff? Grease. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is all this stuff? I didn't know. It's dirty grease. <laughs> Not that end. Use the other end. Okay, sorry. No, it's not dirty. Okay, so get the other one that tight. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Good job. Look at my hands. <laughs> I, need the, I need the key out of that bus. Oh, she needs the key out of this bus. Okay, first thing you're going to do is make sure that you're building air pressure. I am building air pressure. Very good. It's so slow, but surely. So you never want to drive it with it less than like, I don't know, this says 60 PSI probably. That's yeah. why it's in red. Air pressure is what makes you stop. If you have no air pressure, the bus will stop automatically and you have no control over it. So you got to keep an eye on that. When it gets below 60, the brakes automatically apply. Okay. Whenever you're coming up to an intersection and you want to stop because it has air brakes, you do not pump the brakes. Like you don't just pump, 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 you, because every time you do that, you lose air and your air pressure will go down, down, down. So you just push it once and you hold it on there and you can push a little harder, but if you let off, then you dump the air every time. So you'll, oh. need, to, you'll need to learn about how to operate air brakes in order to drive it. Okay. But we're just driving around in the parking lot right now. That's what you need to know. So we're gonna get that above 60. We'll see if it works. What's the light that's on over there? Just the brake light? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, step on the brake. Pushing the parking brake in. You're gonna release that parking brake. Push it in. Okay. Okay. Put it in reverse. Brandy's in it. Hold on. Brandy, move! Okay, okay, step on the brake. Just, just making sure it works. It doesn't go forward, it's right. It will now that it has air. Okay. You don't want a two foot are you a two footer? No. I just did it right then. Don't be being a two footer. And see how your leg's shaking already because you're pushing so hard? You don't have to push that hard. Yeah I do. No, you don't. She's <laughs> got the quiver. So your air, I'm your air seat apparently has a leak because it went right back yeah, down. Yeah, it went right back down. It's right here. Cold air blowing. Can you move your seat forward at all? You sure? Yeah. Mine does a lock that you can slide up and back. No, mine so, doesn't. And then, it, then you have to go even further to actually move it. Okay. So just put it in neutral again for me real quick. Neutral? Yeah. Step up real quick if you don't want. Do I get off? Yeah. The brake? You can set the parking brake if you want. Dang it, it should. I'm not telling you what to. Alright, so there's one that goes over there and you get further. Can we get you a little bit closer? I meant to bring them boosters. There's the. There's a, a baby seat in the other one. Is there? Like a McDonald's baby seat? I don't think it's all the way forward. But it's not really going back either, is it? Well, throw I, some longer legs. <laughs> I can just sit far up on the seat. We're, okay. just, we're just driving in a parking lot. So, so I'm going forward? Uh, Do I have enough room? Yeah. Watch out for your dad over there. Okay, I'm on break. Go really right. slow. I'm going to use both seats for today, okay? Okay. 
test your brakes again just to make sure they work. They do. We need to buckle the hood down. The hood almost fell off. Speedometer is kind of working now. It's a bumpy road. Good job. If you were in your schoolie, you would have just lost all your tools. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull back where I was. Go back. Yeah, yeah, pull back where you were. Excessive on the brake, I think, oh. but it was good. Set was your parking brake, which is it. pop that valve out, open the door with the button. And you did it! <laughs> All right, so we got these two running. This one we had running yesterday. The guy started it, but I looked at it today. It was there's no coolant in the reservoir. Went to fill it, it's coming out the bottom, there's a radiator hose missing off of it. So we put a new radiator hose on it, filled it with coolant. Hopefully it'll be good to go, hopefully the hose wasn't off for any specific reason. And then uh, this one we just drove around a lot, their fluid levels all look good. Everything's holding air, brakes look good. Let's see how it goes. Cut it hard! They work! <laughs> drive with the door open. Yep. That would be amazing. It's like that dog pounding. Yeah. Like 
like a third of the size. <laughs> and, a third, and a third less scary. Or a third. Yeah. Third I just scary. met that bounty hunter a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah? Go a little slow. This is a big pothole. Yeah, once you get a conversion in here, you won't ever want to hit a bump like that because everything flies out of everywhere. You'll want to stay, if you have the opportunity, like here, to stay a little left, like your dad is, then when you make that right turn, you've got less of a chance of hitting that curb. curb. Now, some situations you won't be able to because of the way the road is designed, but. And then on your mirrors, I won't talk too much to you, but on your mirror is that nice lower one on your right that you don't have on your left, you should be able to see where your front tire, or not front tire is, with the front one you should be able to see where your front tire is, your rounded one up there, so you can see how close you are on that white line. If you need to see, you can use that. Personally, are in the same spot that you were in the car, 
but because it's such a bigger vehicle, you end up driving to the left one. So as you progress in your driving, you'll want to watch that. Like right now, your dad's on the yellow line, like over the yellow line. <laughs> but because once you get into like a construction zone, blah, 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 then it gets to be more important that you're actually centering yourself in that lane because of things like big old barricades. Oh, these coming up. Ha, ha, ha. 